Welcome to Around Town, featuring what's happening here in the greater Concord area. I'm your host, Dick Patton, and welcome to Easter, the Easter season. And here it is, April, and March is almost done, and April's on knocking on the door, and uh, hopefully some warmer weather, because we thought we had summer already, now we're back to winter again. But with me is Paul Brogan, as we continue our Then and Now series here in Concord, and uh, you know, it's, it's funny when you talk about the Easter season, how it's changed a little bit. Uh, Concord, I have not heard about anything about Easter egg hunts this year. No, no. There used to be a huge one when I was a wow. child out of White's Park. That's right, exactly. And I think virtually everybody in town mm. seemed to head up there. Well, and then, of course, every park used to have mm-hmm. them, like Heights yes. Park had one, Merrill Park. And, yes, Rollins but, Park. But I haven't heard a word. Nothing, nothing. I haven't either. Uh, I know that the station did something or is doing something. They, did, they already have. Yeah. They already happened. Uh, but beyond that, it's not, I don't think Easter quite holds the sway that it used to because, you know, as kids, we always got a new outfit for Easter. Mm. So we were off to the, you know, Pennies or, you know, oh, one of the downtown. Know, yeah. Pennies usually had great things. Yeah. Um, or even Sears or the youth center. Youth center, yeah. And uh, you always got a new outfit. And so that part of it was very exciting. And uh, there just seemed to be more built around it. Today, I think, because people can wear virtually anything oh, <laughs> to yeah, church, there's no longer that sense of, you know, buying the special thing. And of course, and, as kids, we always had a new outfit, sport mm-hmm. jacket or yes. suit. The yes. girls always had hats. Mm-hmm. And even the adult women, ladies, would mm-hmm. have fancy hats on Easter. And, mm-hmm. You know, it was just a day right. to, you know, for new clothes or something, you know. And My course, mother would visit Harry G. Emmons or oh, yeah, yeah. one of those Bell stores Shop, yeah. to get, the, you know, the new uh, I wonder if it's because it's early this year. I don't. I don't Do ever. Re- and and you know, the part of that is memory. I don't remember it being this bleak and cold at Easter time. No. Uh, it always seemed like you know everything was starting to bloom and the grass yeah, was getting well. green. And beyond the grass in the Easter basket, that was always green. But yeah. uh, it just. I don't know. It doesn't feel the same as it used to no of course i mean we have had easter in march before yes uh, i can remember once back in the i think it was late 60s or early 70s my mother was in the hospital or coming home that day and we had easter dinner i had cooked it actually and mm-hmm. we had my aunt and uncle was over there and the kids and stuff but you know that was in march because we had snow yes yes and uh like my, my grandparents would always say White Christmas, green uh, white Chris, no, green Christmas, white Easter. Really? Yes, that was oh. an that was an old saying. Both mm-hmm. my grandparents would say that. Mm-hmm. My grandmother's and uh, yeah, if you have a green Chris, green Christmas, you'll have a white, white Easter. Easter. And if you think about the other day, yes, Palm Sunday or whatever it was, yes. there was snow. So we did. Uh, it was crazy. Did. But yeah, I mean, this year just, like, there's no. I don't know. I don't even know if there was an Easter Bunny at the mall this year. No, I don't know either. So you know, Maybe but, it's something you need to take on with all of your other... Well, you know, we, the Grange has offered to yes. do the egg uh-huh. hunt here in the Heights for mm-hmm. years. Mm-hmm. And we've always got a polite, no thank you. Mm-hmm. But this year, I haven't heard a word about no. it. No. So if I it's going to happen, it should have happened or be well, ready to happen. That's right. If they're going to do it this Saturday. But. And you had the baskets. Kids brought their baskets. And, of course, if they got the gold egg yes. or one of them, they got mm-hmm. a prize, whatever mm-hmm. it was. Mm-hmm. And uh, But haven't heard nothing. So No, it's a whole different feel or something out there. It's so. funny because now we're going to be getting ready with a- April coming. Of course, they're all focusing on the Fisher Cats or the Red Sox yes. or whatever. Mm-hmm. but. I can't imagine sitting down at Fenway on a day like today. Oh, no, no. You, so, this is more football weather. You yeah, know, or, or hockey. Yeah, or something. Yeah, yes. but, oof, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, hopefully by the time we air, there'll be a little bit of sunshine. Yeah, it's true. Milder temps. No, I haven't, I haven't been by Granite State yet, so I assume they've got their bunny in the mm-hmm. window, but mm-hmm. that used to be such a big treat. It was that a big, big treat. Thing, that. Big... And, of course, the Five and Dimes had all kinds of oh, yeah. Easter. That's where you could get the baskets and the mm, Easter grass yeah, and, uh, and, you know, everything else imaginable. So, But now they've got along the baskets and 
yellow grass, green grass, blue grass, purple grass, mm -hmm. pink grass, whatever you want kind of grass. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. But they've got also all the... It's almost like a Santa stocking now with yes. the baskets. Yes, yes, yes. You know, even the professional baskets that they, you can buy already made. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like... So che and the candy so cheesy in there. It is. And it's, it is. It's not. You know, I can remember these the uh, Easter egg baskets from Granite State, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you you always mentioned Fanny Farmer. Yes, yes. They they were good chocolates in there, or mm -hmm. the marshmallow and right. whatever. But and I always got a large chocolate egg, uh, milk chocolate egg with coconut in it. And it oh, was a yeah. good size. Not these little coconut cream eggs you pay 99 cents oh, for, oh, yeah. and it's gone in one bite, and yeah. you can barely taste the coconut. No, these were something I made a production of cutting it in half, scooping out the coconut. And, really? Oh, yeah. It was, See, I like the, the fudge-filled ones up in mm, France. They were mm -hmm. like fudge walnut mm -hmm. ones. There. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Those are fan. Those are well, wonderful. I'm allergic to chocolate, so I had to. I should be, <laughs> but um, but Easter was you know that was the it day. was it was a whole yeah. different. It was a very exciting time, and you know it, it because when we were kids, Valentine's was just sort of you yeah. know you exchanged cards with the kids yeah. in your class. Yeah. But that was really about it. Yeah. You didn't yeah. make yeah. it wasn't the way it is now, and Halloween wasn't really. A big no. thing back then, the way it is now. You've, you know, you picked out your costume. You went out yeah. that night, but uh, Easter just seemed like it was something you really, mm. uh, it, almost because it was the opening of the door into spring yeah. and into the nice weather yeah. and all of the things starting to play outside more and not having to wear your snowsuit oh, and your mittens and all of those things. Of course, ham was always the big thing for yes. dinner. And I, of course, mm -hmm. now I can't even stand ham. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we always had fried eggs mm -hmm. and mashed potato mm -hmm. and ham with vegetables. And that was... A, uh, was our big Easter dinner. Mm -hmm. We always had raisin sauce on the yeah. ham, and usually sweet potatoes as an added. Mm. And then dessert was either a lemon cake or a coconut cake. Yeah. Uh, and that was something very light looking that sort of spelled that, that kind of time of the year. And it was always nice because usually we were forced to give up sweets for yeah, the oh yeah, six for weeks Lent. of yeah, Lent. Yeah, yeah. So this was like the first time you'd really been able... Of course, we snuck them. Oh, we yeah, went to the movies and made sure. But back then, you got ratted out because it seemed like there was always somebody around who knew your parents. Mm, and yeah. uh, I'd go to a movie, a Disney movie, and somebody was there with their children, and I'd be eating my candy. And she'd go to my mother at Mass on Sunday and say... Um, did you say Paul gave up sweets <laughs> for Lent and, you know, you'd end up in trouble. So, yeah. um, but that was also a good thing in that the community connections that we mm. had, yeah. you know, back, back at that time, people knew people and looked out for oh, people. Yes. Yeah. That's why you could go off and feel your house was going to still be there when you got home because yeah. the neighbors were looking out. You know, you didn't have to have a neighborhood mm -hmm. watch per se. You just had concerned yeah. people. Now but, you got right now we're getting ready for the down second part of downtown construction. Yes, destruction as I yeah. call it. <laughs> um, I guess it's to start this Monday. Yes. Um, yeah. The day after Easter, and um, now that's going to go down as far as the Capitol Center for the Arts. Yes, or Theater before. Street, which is yeah. the street across. Okay. Um, and it's going to be interesting because. Um, I already hear people carping who go to the Capitol Center about how far away they have to park to go there. Oh, yeah. But if you're going to lose all of those spaces during construction on Main Street, mm. you know, if somebody is is having to pay 40 or 50 or $60 for a play or a show there, they're going to say, well, and I'm going to have to park down oh, in the yeah. shopping center or, you yeah. know, someplace else. And the same with Gibson's, it's going to be impacting. And the co-op, it's going to be mm -hmm. hard to get in and out of there. So I think there may be some really upset people about you know some of those businesses that rely on having parking easily accessible that are going to you know pay a price for that. Well, and, I would think they would because you're right. They're going to, there's going to be some of not very happy with mm -hmm. it. Yeah, so they say it's going to be done, I guess, by November or something. Yeah, November again. And then I guess we'll probably have the 
pretty wreaths. They were pretty down at that end of town. But again, um, you know, it's... Okay, for the amount of money, and my mother's taxes have gone up ridiculously, and she's 92, and she's mm. paying $1,200 more Why for doesn't, taxes. She doesn't get the no. uh, exemption, nope. huh? No. Nope. That's sad. She's just, oh, you have to be so close to the, yeah. to oh. get that. But, um, you know, it's, it's all of that money and everything, and it really wasn't necessary. Um, we needed to spruce downtown up. We needed to repave it. We needed to encourage and give an incentive to some of the landlords to, you know, work with their buildings yeah. and some of those things. But I think ultimately people I've spoken with have said it was much ado about nothing. It really, and a lot of people that avoid, I don't go downtown as much as I no. used to because it's hard to find parking. And um, the one lane when you've got people backing out and everything it's suddenly what used to be a 15 or 20 minute trip is now 45 or 50 and um i am like a lot of people that find options elsewhere because um it just seems like there's never enough time to do everything as it no, is i know and, but yeah and i lived there and i looked when driving by i i was thought about what you've talked about so many times the Concord Theater mm -hmm. and I think it is a shame to see mm -hmm. that there yes almost crying for mm -hmm. someone to take me in and mm -hmm. to uh, fix me up or something you exactly know? what a shame it would we don't have a small performing arts center any longer with the Anna Carical Theater is yeah, gone no now. that's gone yeah and the Concord Theater if you put in more modern seats because the she mm. the original seats are there the new seats that are a little bit larger you don't need 499 seats you can have mm. maybe 250 yeah. but it would be the ideal place for a music recital or something somebody who doesn't need the city auditorium size 800 plus seats yeah. or the capital center which you know and it costs quite a bit to rent the place um and this would give you a smaller venue or for dance, you mm. know, some of the yeah. dance recitals. Um, and it would lend itself because it's got that great lobby as you go in. The lobby is about 45, 50 feet long mm. before you even get to the theater itself. But I guess um, despite my yelling and hollering about it and trying to get a discussion going, there's been really no... Interest. There's still federal funds available for restoring an historic downtown theater, but um, I guess you know it. It's not a ten or fifteen million dollar project like mm. the redo of Main yeah. Street, so nobody's going to really look at it as having a lot of value, I guess, until all of a sudden the roof falls in or something, yeah. and they say, "Oh, well, let's just tear it down and put up something that doesn't really lend itself to." Oh, there's a fire in there. Or yes, something, or something. And that will be a shame. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I thought that you know, I drove by it. I mm -hmm. said, "Gee, I can see what Paul talks about. What a treasure that is there, mm -hmm. but nobody's mm -hmm. just you no." Know, I mean, I'm so glad I worked there because, you know, I can remember the lines going down and up Pleasant Street and down South State mm, Street for yeah, movies yeah. and people stopping at Star Hot Dog in line and getting a hot dog and calling the theater to say, are we going to be able to get in tonight? We're over on Pleasant Street in line. And, you know, she'd hold the show if somebody, you know, she didn't want to start the show exactly at 630 if there was still a line of people mm, and sure. inconvenience them. But it was, you know, a part of the city. And it's, you know, it, it's, again, they saved the Capitol Center. They saved the city auditorium. Sure. And for all intents and purposes, they saved the Star Theater by turning it into, a, yes. you know, businesses there yeah. on Pleasant Street. But sure. this still is configured as a theater. and But they won't let anyone go in and look and... I don't know how it passes code every year because I would think that it has to. Oh, they go in and they go in check what they do every year. They must. I mean, people own it. Um, Who owns it? The Azanovs, I think their name is. Oh. Their um, the landlords in Concord. They own a number of properties, so they obviously pay their taxes on it. And I would think that a commercial building like that would have to pass an inspection every year to that it's sound enough and it's not going to, you know, 
have. And this is the Concord Theater. Concord Theater, yes. Isn't that crazy? I yes. don't understand that. When she passed away in 1998, it was left to her nephew. Um, and he sold it a few years later. And nobody's, you know, in the last 15 years. At one point, Barry Steelman took a look at it before Red River mm. opened, and he was interested. And I think he would have been absolutely golden yeah. as far as, you know, doing something. But that didn't work out. And uh, then Red River was built. And mm. uh, I know people in Concord that have never been inside of Red River. It's amazing. I haven't been there. No? The seats are very nice. They have the stadium seating. Yeah. And so there's not a bad seat. But often the movies that they play are not the popular yeah. that people are necessarily going to run to see. So I and think, I think sometimes, too, it's the parking. Yes, it is. And even though you've got the garage there, yeah. you know, Concord people have this thing about garages. Yeah. Uh, we want to park in front of the place and go in and have it convenient, but not in, in a garage where you have to go through all of the, you know, mm. various things. And it's just a very much a conquered mentality. Mm. And uh, I don't know, of course, April too, I mean, the, um, when you think of April, of course, everybody's getting ready for the, uh, well, even though it's in May, the Kiwanis Fair, but mm -hmm. they'll be starting with posters for that, mm -hmm. that's coming up. The parks had opened up a little bit early this year, they claim, the, the playgrounds, but the pools won't open until June, obviously. Mm -hmm. And they'll close the first week of August. Yes. yes. Um, which I still can't get an answer from anybody as to why they don't stay open until the end of August. Sometimes we have our hottest like, weather at the dog days of claim August. claim money. And the, the, mm -hmm. student, the kids have gone back to school or mm -hmm. college. Mm -hmm. But lifeguard, that's oh, why, so okay. I don't know. But mm. it, it just seems like springtime is yes. really, you know, coming. But I was up to the cemetery the other day, checking my folks' mm -hmm. grave. And do you know that they ha there was an Eagle Scout in Concord uh, for his project? He had made signs for different roads up there, in the street signs. I think, I, didn't the uh, Grange yes. give him an award last yeah, April? I, can't I remember. Name. Yes. Well, I was up here today, and they've taken every sign down. It seems, and I asked, I talked to Jill up in the mm -hmm. office, and what happened to the signs? Mm -hmm. Should 911 made them take them down. Really? Because they claimed that some of those signs, they had regular street signs, mm -hmm. and they thought that might be very confusing if somebody called from such and such a street, and... Well, what a shame. The gravestones after... aren't marked, but I suppose if someone's in a mm -hmm. hurry, they could say, well, we have two stick in the at, two stick mm -hmm. whatever. It's, but I didn't think it was, I thought it was such a nice gesture that. Oh, amazingly nice gesture. Yeah, and people course. appreciated it too. Because, you know, when you, when you want to find a grave mm -hmm. up there, and, he, and, and she would tell him I was up on whatever street mm -hmm. off that mm -hmm. road. You knew where to go. Yes, yes. Now you ride around and try and you, to find something and exactly. you can't find it. But yeah, yeah, I was surprised. I had to ask where, the, mm -hmm. where those signs went to. This is Blossom Hill. Blossom yes, Hill. Yes. Yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful cemetery. It oh, really yeah. is. It's still but it's enormous. Around. It's oh, just, and, and I could see where people would get lost and frustrated oh, and, yes. uh, with that kind of... Yeah. But it is. It, we're almost to April Fool's Day and then April will... Yeah, so did you ever get have your parents or your mother do an April Fool joke on you? Yes. Yes, my mother did yes. that once we were yes. kids. We looked out the windows. We did, oh, see the robin out there or something. Because I didn't know what a robin mm. Of course, mm -hmm. there's nothing there. But uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I didn't know what a robin looked like. But they were very so harmless young. things, yeah, fortunately. So young, yeah. But, um, yeah, it, not at all like what people did as I got older. But uh, And at school, kids could be, you know, really vicious in some oh, of their... Yes. And, and they used April Fool's as an excuse to be especially vicious, of course. But uh, it was... I did a, I did a Facebook, page, a Facebook page on one of the Concord school pages the other day. We were trying to talk about who the different teachers were. And like when I went to... When you and I went to Runlet. Yes, Rumlet, yes in the seventh grade on that second floor right and right. i was drawing i still think i'm drawing a blank because i know 
Miss Lang, or Miss Lane, or Miss Lang, or whatever. She, mm-hmm. Dorothy Lane, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or Dane, or something. She was in 201. Mm-hmm. 203, I wasn't sure. I thought it was a Miss Sergeant or Mrs. Mrs. Sergeant. Mrs. Yes, Sergeant. Mrs. Sergeant. Sergeant. Okay. Yes. Then 205 was Mr. Gaskell. Yes. Because I was talking with someone mm-hmm. today about that, and they said, he's still alive. And I mm-hmm. didn't know that. Mm-hmm. He's 90 something years old, but they said, yeah, he's mm-hmm. living out in Hillsborough Way or someplace. Mm-hmm. And then I said, 207 was Mr. DeLacy. Yes. Lionel, Lionel DeLacy. DeLacy. Yeah. Yep. And 209, which was my homeroom, was Mrs. Bodwell. But when we went there for move-up day, the, that June before, mm-hmm. it was Mrs. Duckworth. Mm-hmm. But she went down to be the new librarian mm-hmm. or something. Mm-hmm. And then 207, 20, 211, we had was Mrs. Mrs. Giles, or Miss mm-hmm. Giles, who taught English. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On the other side, I went down. Two o two was Mr. Brown. You remember him? Yes, Philip Brown. Yeah, okay. Had a W. C. Yeah. Fields nose. Yes, yes, he taught arithmetic. Yes. <laughs> two o no, two o four is where I'm stumped on. That wasn't uh, wasn't that um, Rose McCormick? No, she was downstairs. She, oh, she was downstairs. Row. Okay, all right. Well, okay. was she at Runlet or Concord High? No, she was Runlet. She Rose was McCormick, yes. yes. She was down, yes. I think With she was her sensible the, shoes. She, she <laughs> Never wore high heels. Always wore flats, very comfortable <laughs> shoes for walking. Yes. I think when she had been Miss Florida, yeah. <laughs> I think she had to wear the yeah. high heels on the uh, runway. <laughs> and I think that she'd high heeled out. So by the time she was teaching in Congress, Ian, she Ian's was... like a child. Yes. Yes. No. But yes, yeah. yes. Um, uh, and then 206... But two oh four was Mrs. Andrews there? She was two ten. Okay, Gertrude Andrews. Yes, because Miss Mrs. Mr. Andrews worked. Uh, he was in yeah. the three hundred. Right, he was science. Shaw. Yeah, science. That's right. Then two oh eight was Mrs. Edmonds or yes. Miss Olive yes. Edmonds. Olive she, Edmonds. She just, just died. died last year. That's right. Mm-hmm. She was hundred years old or something. One hundred and seventeen. Two oh six was Miss Gray. Yes. Mm-hmm. Leah Le- Le- Gray. Leah Gray, L E A. 204, I'm still trying to remember who mm-hmm. was in that room. Mm-hmm. And then 212 was Mr. Dunbar. Yes. But I can't remember that. 204, and I, I've been asked that, anybody, well, but nobody can remember. Where was, what? and I can't remember what his name was, tall guy. His wife Mr. was in charge. No, his wife was in charge of the welcome wagon. Oh, that, well, that was in Mr. Ordway. Yes, Norma Ordway, and that was yeah. Mr. Ordway. Was he there? He was there, but he was, I thought he was assistant principal. Not the first year. No. Because it was Samuel Richmond and Carl Bartlett. And Carl Bartlett, right. And then the mm-hmm. second year. So, but mm-hmm. somebody, was, there was another Mr. Brown, younger guy with glasses that was a, taught something. That maybe he oh. was up there. Oh, okay. I don't remember. Because in eighth grade... Mm-hmm. Mr. Fenton was up there mm-hmm. in doing English in 209. My whole Where was moment. Mr. Ayer? I don't know him. I don't remember okay, him. he was there. A Y E R. Really? Yes. And I thought he was up there. It could be. Because I, I was trying to remember with some of these. Mm-hmm. Then, because mm-hmm. down on the 100 wing was Mr. Wilson, mm-hmm. who taught civics. Yes. And Mrs. Oliver, who taught yes. general business. But mm-hmm. then she had an accident. Mm-hmm. And Mr. Clark mm-hmm. came in. And did her cl- our class for a while, mm-hmm. and then she uh, she broke her hip or something, mm-hmm. and she mm-hmm. eventually came back. But he was in, he was he was very good. Mm-hmm. He was in Chichester, I think now. Mm-hmm. And then um, then a Mr. Jackson came in up there somewhere, and and then I guess he switched to the high school after that. But mm-hmm. it was it was just fun trying to figure mm-hmm. out, mm-hmm. and then. Mm-hmm. Mr. Blanchard, who's still alive, yes. Jim Blanchard, uh-huh. he was in the 100 wing. Mm-hmm. Miss Simpson, mm-hmm. Mabel Simpson, yes. was, she died English. She was down in 101, 102 or something like that. And, see, that's where I'm mm-hmm. losing a lot. Mm-hmm. I can't remember. Then at 300 wing was Mr. Thurston. Yes. Mr. McLaughlin. Yes. Russell. Then I got and his then sled I, dogs. Then I, yeah, then I got lost after that because Mrs. Baltel was yes. down at the mm-hmm. end. Mm-hmm. Mr. Andrews mm-hmm. was in that wing. Mm-hmm. But see, I forgot who the other one was. Where was right. Mrs. Kalichi? She was in the 400 okay. wing. She taught home economics. Home economics, right. Yeah. She was down there with Leonard Smith and yeah. Mr. Minor. Miss Scott. 
Miss Grace E. Scott. Yes, we did lived the act on class. The th- Route three A. Oh, really? Still go by her house, and I mean, she's not there, but no, she <laughs> designed the house, and it was considered very futuristic really? in the early '60s when she oh, designed it. It had lots of windows in the front, looking out oh. toward the Merrimack. And really? All. Yeah, it's still. Stands out. We're about on three A. Um, not very far along. As you're heading toward Hooksit, it's on the right hand side. It's bef- I think it's right before Elkins Coffee, where Elkins Coffee oh, yeah. was. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> or right after that, but yes. Yeah. There was a Mrs. Rush, mm-hmm. but no, I don't know where she was. Deanna Rush was in it because she mm-hmm. did. She took uh, took us boys, some boys on for a six week course in in cooking. Ah. And I joined that class. Ah. Yeah, we fun. Had, yeah, it was it was fun. It was a six week class, mm-hmm. and then um, uh, you know, had Mister Ullman. Yes. Mister Marston. Yes. Mister M- Minor. Uh huh. Mister Bautel. Right. And I almost electrocuted Mister Minor with the wrought iron lamp I oh. made. Um, when he plugged it in, sparks went everywhere. That was the end of that class. Uh, Mister Smith gave me a study hall and shop because he put his feet on the footstool I made and it collapsed oh, under his dear. feet. Oh, my so, God. And then, of course, Grace Scott told yeah. me I should never be allowed near <laughs> an art item for the rest of my life because I had no talent. Well, wow. and of so. course, Mr. and you talk about Mr. Smith's wood class. Yes. We, we had a student. His name was John Huckins. Mm-hmm. I'll never forget it. I can see it to this day. He was cutting a board mm-hmm. with, a, with a saw there, mm-hmm. and he cut his finger off. <sighs> And, uh, and they of course, rushed Ouch. him to the hospital. Yes. They took him with his finger and dropped to the hospital. Mm-hmm. And of course, they sewed it back mm-hmm. on. I'll never forget. And after that, I could not go to. Sh- I just no. it freaked no. me out so mm-hmm. bad. Mm-hmm. And of course, mm-hmm. Mr. Omen, you were supposed to teach. You had to do mm-hmm. a uh, little engine, a little motor, yes. or something. something. You, had to, yes. you had to do something. <clears throat> and mm-hmm. I almost think there was a biology class down there too, but maybe not. There was somebody else in that class. I don't remember. Yeah. And then, of course, you had Mr. Black and Mrs. Manus doing yeah, music. Yeah, and I had Mr. Mark, who owns Caring Gifts, yes. who did. He was in music. I had him in eighth mm-hmm. grade mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. class. So yeah, Mr. Black, I know, he was a tall guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Isn't it funny to remember those? I, I, it is. The other day, I was. I said, i got to ask Paul if he's mm-hmm. got those yearbooks again, because I, okay, I'm trying I to remember who was Dig them out. I will b- dig them out and bring them yeah. with me next time. Because I'm trying to figure who those were mm-hmm. right there. You know, it's interesting to see. It that. is. And then we got to talk about the high school ones. And most teachers I know are around or whatever, mm-hmm. but trying to picture the hallways. Mm-hmm. And I was a Brady by then. So oh, yes, I know. After you eighth were, grade, I you was. Were, you, were up on, you were up on Columbus. <laughs> Which was pretty deserted. It was the way Loudon Road was back yes, in I those know. days. Yeah. I mean, after once you walked onto Columbus. Uh, Avenue, there was really no No. residences or anything else along there. You were just sort of out in the Mm. wilderness. Well, we're going to call it a quits today for Around Town, Paul. We've had another great day of reminiscing with Paul. If you have any questions, give us a call sometime. We'd love to hear your comments. But for Around Town, we wish you all a very happy Easter and Passover coming up very soon. And of course, the Orthodox don't get their Easter till May. But anyway, have a happy one, and um, thanks again to my director, Ian Marks. Have a great day. Talk to you soon, and I'm your host, Dick Patton.